and welcome back to the McCall's Baking Channel. Today we will be showing you how to make all different kinds of pretzels that are perfect for Halloween. From spooky ghosts to scary monsters, pumpkin pretzels to pretzel bass, it's time to get creative and we are here to help. You will need dark chocolate McCall's Easy Melt Wafer. Melt the chocolate wafers over a double boiler. Melt some orange McCall's Easy Melt Wafers over a separate double boiler. You will also need to melt some lime green McCall's Easy Melt Wafers. Get out a few McCall's pretzel twists and place them on a parchment lined tray. Set up your workstation with the melted dark chocolate, a chocolate dipping fork, and a few yellow royal icing eyes. Dip each pretzel in the dark chocolate, turning it over with the chocolate dipping fork so that the pretzel is completely covered in chocolate. Lift the pretzel out gently with the chocolate fork and place it on the parchment. Place the royal icing eyes on the chocolate pretzel. Repeat the steps with the remaining pretzels, making as many dark chocolate bats as you'd like. For the next pretzel project, you will need a few crunchy pretzel twists, some broken pretzel pieces, a tray with parchment, and your melted lime green chocolate. Dip all the pretzel pieces in the green chocolate and place them on the parchment. Be sure to use a chocolate fork for this step as this handy tool helps the chocolate drip off of the pretzel, keeping the excess chocolate in your bowl and not pooling around your candy pieces. Dip the pretzel twist in the orange melted chocolate. Use that convenient chocolate fork again. Did you know that orange is a traditional Halloween color because it represents the fall harvest? There is a lot of orange leaves and pumpkins around Halloween time. While the orange chocolate is still soft, attach the green pretzel pieces to make the stem of the pumpkin. Set the pretzel pumpkins aside to let them dry and harden. For the next pretzels, you will need pretzel rods, a clean tray with parchment paper, and white McCall's melting wafers. Dip the top third of the pretzel rod in white chocolate. Shake and twirl the pretzel so some of the excess chocolate drips off and then place it on the parchment. Make as many pretzels as you'd like and then set them aside to dry. Repeat the process using the green melted chocolate. You want to get as much extra chocolate off of the pretzel in order to prevent the chocolate from pooling around the pretzel when you put it down on the tray. In the world of candy making, that extra chocolate around a candy is called a foot. You don't want your dessert to have feet. Get out some pumpkins, bats, and ghosts McCall Quinn sprinkles. Use the green chocolate again, dipping the pretzels about one-third to halfway in the chocolate. Sprinkle some of the quins over the wet chocolate, holding the pretzel over a clean bowl to catch any sprinkles that might slip off. You don't want to waste these cute quins. McCall's Halloween Pearl Sprinkle Mix is used for the next pretzel project. Dip the pretzels in the melted orange chocolate and sprinkle with the Halloween sprinkles, again catching any extra sprinkles in a clean bowl. This is not only a great way to prevent waste, but also keeps your workstation nice and clean. Get out the white chocolate dipped pretzel rods and use a paper cone filled with melted chocolate to pipe eyes and a squiggly mouth on the top of each pretzel. Make some of the ghosts have their mouth open as well. Maybe they're saying, boo! To finish your green pretzel rods, you will need some royal icing eyes, 
melted dark chocolate. Dip the top of each pretzel in the melted dark chocolate to make the monster's hair. Use a paper cone of dark chocolate to pipe a little extra hair as well. Monsters tend to have shaggy haircuts. Stick the royal icing eyes on using a little bit of melted chocolate. It's okay if they're crooked because monsters probably have googly eyes. Pipe a mouth on each pretzel rod as well. Pipe a scar on the head of each monster. Now you've made Frankenstein. To finish the mummy pretzels, drizzle some of the melted white chocolate back and forth across each pretzel. Press some royal icing eyes onto the pretzel while the chocolate is wet. Your Halloween pretzels are now complete. Wasn't it easy to make an entire assortment of fun, spooky pretzels? If you make these pretzels for your next Halloween party, we want to see. So take a picture and tag us at Love McCall's. If you want to learn how to make more festive, tasty treats, subscribe to our YouTube channel where we post new videos all the time. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram to get the latest updates from McCall's. Don't forget to head over to our website, mccalls.ca, where you can get all the supplies you need for these Halloween pretzels and so much more.